I think the most important things when trying to motivate a service user has to be um, seeing them as a person first and foremost. Um, looking at individual and their individual journey and tailoring a support plan specific to the needs of that individual. Find out what their goals are, what are their long-term goals, what are they motivated by personally, whether that be finance, by family, and just really trying to get an all-round knowledge of that person, building rapport. And something I always say to an individual is, if I give 100% for you and you give 100% for yourself, well, that's 200%. So, Hi, I'm Lindsay, one of the ET advisors. ET is integral to our service users' individual journeys and helps support offender managers with their progression framework and sentence plans. Finding sustainable employment is proven to help reduce reoffending, and in October last year, the RRP reoffending analysis tool revealed that those who sustained in paid work for at least 13 weeks had reduced their chances of reoffending by a third, from 24.76% to 16.67%. Highlighting these success stories is important to us. On the employment training and education team, it is our aim to address the barriers that individuals face when securing employment. And one of the challenges that we have is the disclosure of convictions to employers, as there is often some reservations around this. So, we educate our service users on disclosure. For example, how and when to disclose, and the level of disclosure check that is required for a certain nature of role. We think that this helps to build confidence and also address apprehensions, sets realistic expectations when individuals are looking to make a positive step in the right direction. Hi, my name's Matt Britton. I'm the Skills and Employability Manager for the Staffordshire and West Midlands Community Rehabilitation Company. So I uh, just wanted to give you a quick overview of the office space that we use. So as you can see, it's um, slightly more depleted than it would normally be due to COVID-19 and the impacts of staff working remotely. But this is where probation officers interview their service users and conduct their interviews within the Birmingham Centre City office. I'm Austin Hawkes, Operations and Partnership Manager for Ingeus. On our ETE provision, our team of 30 employment advisors and managers support service users across 34 different custody and community sites in the East and West Midlands. Last year, through their hard work, commitment and person-centred approach, our ETE team supported over 3,500 service users to step away from crime and pick a different future by pursuing employment, training or education.